Hey everybody, ever you go to use your high lift jack and have this problem? Running gear won't move. There we go. The running gear should easily slide up and down the high lift standard. If it's not, there's a good chance you've got some corrosion if it's been sitting outside in the elements. Also things like road grime and old lubrication can gum up the works of the running gear. Let's take a closer look and see what's happening. Let's take a closer look at the climbing pin. You can see some of the corrosion on the spring and the cross pin as well, as well as all of the old lubrication on the climbing pin. What we're going to do is drive this cross pin out to the left of the screen and we'll replace it with the parts that are in the repair kit. Here's a view of the other climbing pin. Take note of the orientation of the spring to the cross pin. You want to make sure that the spring sits entirely on top of the cross pin when you're doing the reinstallation. You only need a couple basic hand tools to do this job. You need a hammer and a drift or a punch to remove the cross pins. A uh, couple half inch wrenches if you want to also remove the sh safety shear bolt. And I've got some 90 degree needle nose pliers just in case I've got to pry out the cross pins towards the end. And of course you'll need the fix it kit from High Lift. There's one climbing pin. There's the spring, which actually has some good spring to it still, but we're replacing everything. You'll notice on the climbing pin that there's a bevel. The bevel points to the top of the high lift. So the top of the high lift is this way, so the pin should go in oriented like this. I'm also going to use a little bit of brake parts cleaner to just clear up all of the rust and dirt and old grease that's on this part. And now for the reassembly. Put your spring in, make sure your bevel's pointing to the top of the high lift. Just make sure the cross pin doesn't go through the spring on the other side as well. Again, put the spring in climbing pin with the bevel to the top of the high lift. If you want a faster braking period for your high lift, one tip you can do is to remove the paint where the cross pins land on this part of the high lift. Uh, this basically just gives a little less resistance uh, to their movement and it's something that will eventually happen anyway. So if you just take a knife and scrape off that little bit of paint, um, your jack will work a little bit easier. Now that we've got the climbing pins replaced, let's move on to the safety shear pin. Well, there's some corrosion on here. It doesn't look to be bent or anything, so 
Uh, it looks like there might be a slight bend to it, but uh, good to replace it anyways with everything else. Now that the high lift is all fixed and lubed up, I'm going to install this Step 22 high lift jack cover to protect it from the elements. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel up here. We'll be doing follow-up videos of the high lift jack cover and also be doing some videos on actually using the high lift out in the real world situations as well. So stay tuned for those. And we'll see you out there on the trails. Take it easy everyone.